Some disturbing news out of a rural Nebraska high school. Channel 8 has learned a student at Sterling High School threatened to kill one of his fellow classmates. Reporter Marlo Lundak was in Sterling today and has the latest for us tonight. She talked with a, the student who was threatened, right Marlo? Yeah, that's right, Megan. Parents of the students of uh, the student who was contacted, who was threatened, contacted us. They say the school needs to take action. About a month ago, sophomore student Isabella Cambron was threatened by one of her classmates at Sterling High School. Said that if he were to shoot up the school, I would be his first target. And then he started telling people, like around him, that he said it. And then he had something on his notebook and he was showing other people. According to one of Isabella's friends, it was a hit list. Isabella says she immediately went to the principal and superintendent. They put us both in a room together and asked us if he had any possession to any weapons and he said no. And she said that I shouldn't feel like scared or worried and then she just dropped the entire thing. Isabella didn't tell anybody about what happened, including her parents, because she was scared. Her parents say they found out about the incident Tuesday and were appalled. Um, I found out last night when a sheriff came knocking on my door because there was uh, people concerned in regards to what had happened. Multiple students contacted the sheriff's office Tuesday after feeling scared. Her mom and grandma say the school should have contacted parents and law enforcement immediately. You hear on the news all the time, if you see anything, if you hear anything, do something, say something, talk to someone. Isabella did what she was supposed to do. The school dropped the ball and did nothing. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office confirmed with Channel 8 News Wednesday that the school hadn't reported the incident and wasn't cooperating with officials. The Sheriff's Office also confirmed they are now working with the county attorney on a criminal investigation into the student who made the threat. Now, the Sterling Public School Superintendent did release a statement a few hours ago. It says the school has been aware of the rumors for several weeks and investigated the situation. It also says after law enforcement and the school district got involved, they found no credible threat. All right, Marlo Lundak, thank you.